Next is cable modems, okay? DOCSIS, or Data Over Cable Service Interface Specification. That is a really long way to say, how are we gonna get data over our existing coax? So much like the telephone companies that had twisted pair coffer deployed, many of the cable providers have an, an, an invested and embedded coaxial base. Um, well, you can do the same thing over coaxial base, and by the way, it's using frequencies again. It's, it's basically manipulating the frequencies and higher frequencies um, to move this data over the, the, um, the existing copper infrastructure. Um, in this particular service, again, we drive fiber somewhere in the network, and then from that DOCSIS node, um, we provide cable modem service, and there's, there's a, a modem, a cable modem at the, at the subscriber base um, that terminates the cable modem service, um, but it uses the coax versus the, the copper, the twisted copper pair. Much like uh, ADSL, there's different versions of DOCSIS. Beginning at DOCSIS 1.x, um, which will provide 38 megabits per second down and nine megabits per second up, going all the way up to DOCSIS 3.1 um, that has a potential for 10 gigabits per second down and one gigabit per second up. Now you'll notice much like DSL, the DOCSIS technologies are asynchronous. You have a higher download than you have an upload. The other thing to remember about cable modems versus some of the other technologies is it's a shared bandwidth technology. So as the DOCSIS node is deployed, um, that service or that 10 gigabits per second down, one gigabit per second up is shared by the subscribers that are in that particular segment of the network architecture. Um, so it's a, it's a shared bandwidth style of service, um, still very effective in, in providing high bandwidth deployments. Um, um, depending upon your usage for things like your standard internet usage, um, home-based usage, small business type of usage. Um, but remember, it is a shared bandwidth and it's asymmetric as well. <laughs>